Or hopefully they're jolly. If they're jolly, then um, I underspeed them. But if they're adamant, I outspeed them, and that's going to be an issue. Close combat. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> I love this. I love this so much, dude. I love this so much. There's no way we ate the close combat that well. Okay, so the, the season is about to reset. Uh, I just need to put this out there. Because the season's about to reset, that's the only reason I'm willing to run this. Uh, I don't care about my rank because it doesn't matter anymore. Um, we are going to be using Porygon Z. Now, Porygon Z is a very strong Pokemon with adaptability, life orb, you know, hyper beam, tri attack, that sort of thing. We're not doing that. In 2017, people would use like Z conversion with Blizzard to turn themselves into an ice type and get an omni boost and then just sweep teams. I'm very nostalgic for that. So we're using Terra Ice. <laughs> and it's a bulky citrus berry nasty plot set with Veil next to like Baxcalber and stuff. But yeah, also there's no face cam today. I'm recording this the day before, or like the day of this going up. Uh, and it's probably gonna go up late, so I don't have time to edit face cams. But yeah, we're using we're using Porygon Z. If you enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, become a patron. People voted for Porygon Z. I don't think they expected to get this. Uh, but patrons and YouTube channel members, which you can become a member by clicking the join button down below, uh, get to choose the Pokemon that I use in these videos. All right, let's do it. My rank is garbage. We are almost at 20,000. That would be a record low for me. That would be a record low for me. And why? Because I keep using things like Spide Ops. <laughs> I do this for you. Somehow 16,000, almost 17,000 is still a positive win record, which is crazy. I figured you'd need to, you know, <laughs> I figured you'd uh, need to do a lot worse to be down here. Yeah, I really need a, I should really have like a serious laddering series that I put on the second channel. I, I Like I, I keep meaning to do that and then I just don't. All right, Tiberius. Tiberius. Looks like we're facing, um... I'm not sure, but I'm just going to go for the gimmick right away. I, I mean, like, I, I know what this is. This is, like, just, like, um, standard bear room. But I'm trying to think, like, do I want to bring back Excalibur? I think I just bring Incineroar. I think Incineroar is just the safest. Yeah. If I get my Veil off, like, they have a really hard time breaking through. Especially with how bulky I built this Porygon Z. By the way, people keep asking me, hey, where's the code? The code's shown at the end of the video. Only real fans know the code. All right. So that seems like a free veil to me. Also sort of feels like a free... Um, also sort of feels like a free... Uh, nasty plot. So I'm going to Terra Ice Nasty Plot. You might be wondering, why are you Terra Icing here? Does that not give you more weaknesses? Well, I'm not immediately weak to anything in front of me. Genius. Um, and also, I get the physical defense boost from being an Ice type and a Behind Veil. And I have 140 HP investment and how much defense? Four. That four defense is really going to go crazy. As they follow me, dude, they're about to enter a world of pain. They're about to enter a world of pain. I don't care if this Trick Room goes up. Hit him with the schnasty plot. Alright, buddy. You like blizzards? <laughs> you a fan of the move blizzard? I hope you're a fan of the move blizzard. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be seeing a lot of that in a minute. As they're going to Terra, most likely Terra Water. And there's a chance they get frozen here, but honestly, with the, you know, bulk I have, the citrus berry, the veil, the, you know, physical defense boost from the snow, I feel like I eat this pretty well, even with that helping hand. They have to crit. Wait, why did I say that? That's a high crit move. Freeze. All right, let's see. 
Oh, no. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> okay. This is phenomenal news. I now have access to fake out again. Um, also, we have an undamaged... Uh, we, we have an undamaged dude on the field here. Behind Veil. Into an Ursaluna. Oh, it's Urshifu. So unfortunately, I don't outspeed the Urshifu. Actually, I, I outspeed Adamant Urshifu, so this is kind of an issue. I think what I have to do here is go into my Incineroar to Intimidate. Um, and I need to, above all else, really get rid of the Ogre Pod, I think. Eh, I could just Blizzard again. <laughs> I could just Blizzard again. Let's see, hopefully they Sucker Punch. That'd be really funny. Or hopefully they're Jolly. If they're Jolly, then um, I underspeed them. But if they're Adamant, I outspeed them, and that's going to be an issue. Close combat. Let's see... Oh, <laughs> I love this. I love this so much, dude. I love this so much. There's no way we ate the close combat that well. Can I get a freeze on the Ogre Pond? That'd be epic. All right, no freeze. Did they double up? They did not, unfortunately. Um, I do have fake out, luckily enough. I do have fake out. Honestly, I beat them as soon as this veil's gone, or as soon as the trick room's over, too. Let me think. So there's two turns left. I think here they protect on the fake out on the Urshifu, so I can parting shot and protect my Porygon Z. Because they know fake out's coming. Yep. And I can get in my Ogre Pond, which is certainly slower than that Urshifu. Oh, well, that that's another option. That is certainly another option. Um, let's do this. Let's go for Knockoff and another Nasty Plot to avoid a Sucker Punch. Because like I said, I don't really need this Porygon Z anymore. It's it's done the damage it needs to. Why does he look so angry? That dude's character looked so angry there. All right. Let's see if they targeted Porygon Z. If they if they targeted Incineroar, they're actually in a world of hurt here. I find it interesting they didn't sucker punch. That that's kind of a weird call. All right, Incineroar, Incineroar, Incineroar. Yes. <laughs> oh wait, no, that's Porygon Z. My bad. My bad. It's fine though. We have our own Ogre Pond. We also have Icy Wind. And Blizzard spam. The like. Get our Blizzard guy back in. And I'm assuming it's an Urshifu in the back. I just don't see what else... It, or not Urshifu. Uh, Ursaluna, yeah. It's like, I, I don't see what else it could be. With how they, like, played that. Um, And my play here is going to be to go for Icy Wind Knockoff. I think. I could also just Blizzard. No, I, I Icy Wind here because um, it's like it's going to chip down the uh, Ogre Pond to the point where I get the KO with the uh, Incineroar. Uh, and that also makes it so like in the late game in case this Ogre Pond, you know, does live this somehow, like it outspeeds me anyways, then I get my Ogre Pond in and I win. Because then I always outspeed them with my Ogre Pond and I'm good. Gaming. Yeah, like I said. Even if they outspeed, now my Ogre Pond comes in. 
Now I click Blizzard, Horn Leech, and we're gaming. We are gaming. Matter of fact, I can just double this Ursa Luna now. All right, Horn Leech, Blizzard. Just in case they want to protect the Ogre Pond. They do follow me, that's fine. That should be pretty clean two shot there. And that's game. There's no way to pick up two KOs this turn. Yeah, and Blood Moon doesn't even do it. You life orb? Here, buddy. You can go for one more Blood Moon if you feel like it. Encore will make them use Blood Moon again, by the way. Like, the first time you Encore something into Blood Moon, it will actually use the move. It doesn't fail. Alright. I mean, that worked out pretty well on Low Ladder. <laughs> Let's continue. Twenty one thousand. Oh, my God, we are in the trenches and we're going to lose to people in the trenches because they're just going to taunt me and I'm not going to get my veil off. Um, This could be a decent game for you, actually. Yeah, you can go crazy here. Uh, I'll bring the PZ in the back. I am Ice Body, right? Okay, yeah, I am Ice Body. Good, good, good. Uh, and I think here, eh, just bring the Ogre Pun. Yeah, why not? I'm assuming I don't get Veil off because they're going to lead off Tornado, so I'm just going to go ahead and Swords Dance and Tailwind. <laughs> Scare the hell out of that, uh, that Landorus there. Excalibur is like crazy bulky. It's 115 HP, 92 defense. 86 special defense and 145 attacks. You don't even really need to invest in this attack stat, dude. Uh, this is actually a really good lead for me. Because we get to play the... We get to play this game. We get to play this game. Oh, wait. I just realized I don't have Taunt. I have Leer. That was supposed to be Taunt. <laughs> you know what? No, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. We'll, we'll Tailwind here. And I'm going to Swords Dance. Go ahead and fake me out. Fake me out, punk. I'm Covert Cloak. It's close team sheets. I don't even care. I'm crazy. I'm crazy with it. Is they're going to Terra? That's interesting. Terra Steel? Terra Steel, right? Ghost. Okay, I guess that also makes sense. They just don't want to get one shot by Baxcalibur, I guess. They tailwind. I tailwind and get a sword dance. 
What did this Incineroar do? Maybe they clicked Parting Shot because they weren't paying attention. That'd be awesome. Because I can be burned by uh, by Flare Blitz. Drain Punch? Hello, sir? What is he on? What is he on? Okay. Um, I can Snowscape here and get some health back. And I'm gonna have to... Let me think. I'm gonna have to Glaive Rush this Incineroar. Just to make sure I pick up this KO. There's no way Adamant plus two Glaive Rush doesn't do it, right? Can you can you dodge back Scalibur? Thank you. There's no way this doesn't do it. Yeah. Yeah, that move's insane. And now I have a Ice Shard to prevent myself from getting KO'd next turn. I feel like no one's ever clicked Snowscape with this Pokemon. <laughs> Snowscape's such a, like, a, a niche move. Like, most of the time you want manual rain and, like, manual sun, but I've never seen anyone click manual snow. Oh, yo, you guys want to see something crazy? Leer. Protect. Leer protect into a Leer ice shard. That's my play. I'm going to one-shot this thing. Yeah, plus four Ice Shard, that, that has to KO Ogre Pond, right? There's no way that doesn't KO Ogre Pond. I could even, like, reasonably ignore Ogre Pond. Especially if Tornadus lives this. It's not gonna, but, you know, it would have been cool. Oh! Oh, okay! All right. Well, uh, you know, don't mind if I do. I'll just go ahead and take that Tornadus from you. There's no way you live this, right? There's no way you live this. That's so cool. <laughs> Alright, and now that Ogre Pond can't switch out, it's stuck here at minus two defense. That doesn't KO me. I'm, I'm back Excalibur. Yeah. Gotta say, like, there's, there's no way. And Gambit. I hardly know her. Alright, let me Snowscape again. Just to take minimal damage from this King Gambit. Um, they're usually Swords Dance right now, so I'm not really concerned. Um, I'm not really concerned with Iron Head. And yeah, let's let's see how much this Ice Shard does to this thing. Because we might even dodge a Sucker Punch with this. Okay, let's see if they Sucker Punch. That'd be cool. I get a defense boost too, so I might be able to live this Iron Head if I'm coping. I am coping, by the way. Oh, we did dodge a Sucker Punch. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Here, uh, have another. Why don't you have another? You still hungry? Have another. Oh! Oh, that's, that's new. Who used that? Who gets that? Is... Is that King Gambit doing that? That's that's a new one. That had to be King Gambit, right? Yeah, okay, that's not going to do anything. Okay, cool. Alright, do you want to see something funny? Do you want to see something really funny? This turn, I go into Porygon Z, right?
and I protect. And I get more recovery, because this turn they're going to go for the spiky shield. And this is where I finally got to click Terra Ice Blizzard. <laughs> Ivy Cudgel? Alright, we'll eat that. Nice. Okay. Um, honestly, I'm getting sick and tired of this King Gambit. Let's just KO it. Probably doesn't have Protect. Two turns off the snow. Yeah. Let's Blizzard, and I am willing to Glaive Rush here. Get a second ice type on the field. Nice old defense boost. Alright, cool. We got the call right. Neither of my mons dropped a sucker punch. There's no way. That's what I thought. Alright. Keep this one. Is that Ice Shard range? I'm going to pretend like it is. Even if it isn't, I get to toss out this Blizzard. Alright, buddy. What are you going to do? Watch them quick guard. There's no way they quick guard. They, they want to sucker punch so bad. Oh, they did quick guard. Cool. I mean, like, we're... We have ice up, so we should eat this. We should eat the, uh... Attack here. The Ivy Cudgel. Yep. Man, get another Blizzard off. That does KO, and hey, uh, I got a, I got an Ice Shard for you, buddy. You've been avoiding eating the Ice Shard for like the past five turns. Alright, good game. Okay, let's do one more. I mean, those, those are pretty good. You know, I, I got to use the Porygon Z and the Backscalibur, and we're climbing out of the trenches. I thought I was going to, like, lose all these. Two battling. Ale. Um, this just seems like a pretty standard Howl team. Howl teams don't really have a way of stopping me from going for this, and also my Encore becomes nasty into them. Uh, but I have to be really careful. I have to be really careful that Heat Crash can hurt. So, how do I deal with this? How do I deal with this? Wait. <laughs> Wait, wait, how did I not prep for this matchup? I can definitely eat one Heat Crash, right? The issue is eating all the other ones. I think my play is to lead... I have to go with you. I can try PZ in the back. And Ogre Pond. This is going to be a really awkward one. Because if they lead off Gouging Fire King Gambit, there aren't many lines I have into that. Even though it's like one of the most popular archetypes right now. I'm just like, for some reason, I just didn't think about prepping for it with this team. I don't know. The point was using Porygon Z, not winning.
All right, there it is. I mean, luckily for us, I'm fairly certain we always get our thing off. Should always get the veil. And I can... I'm going to assume that this is the Assault Vest set. So I am going to Terra here to avoid taking super effective damage from Breaking Swipe. Uh, and we'll Swords Dance up. What other lines do I have here? I mean, technically Porygon Z, but that, that's hardly an answer. I think I'd rather see a Howl than a Heat Crash here. Ooh, apparently I'm just faster. Wait, were they Attack Booster? They had to be. There's no way I outspeed them otherwise. Okay. So if I'm lucky, they Iron Headed here because I can actually... <gasps> You're getting Encored so hard, buddy. You're getting Encored so hard. I'm sorry. You're just getting encored. And I'm going to Swords Dance the second time. I'm crazy with it. I would attack into the Gouging Fire, but my concern here is that they're just going to Burning Bulwark, and I am not immune to burn. Oh, you're getting encored so hard, buddy. Luckily, I have Veil up here. And I can avoid Sucker Punch with Ice Shard. So I Encore you, and I'm just gonna... I'm gonna Swords Dance again. I'm gonna Swords Dance again. Dude, I can just Ice Shard. <laughs> Did they attack boost? What? What's their item? I wasn't paying attention. I just assumed it was Speed Booster. All right, man, have fun clicking that. Got to be a little careful here now. Um, if I'm lucky, they're not Choice Scarf, and I can just get this KO with Glaive Rush. If they are Choice Scarf, they can tear a Water Surging Strikes, and it can be a little bit frustrating for me. There's the King Gambit. Like I said, I can avoid all this with Ice Shard. Alright, don't be Scarf. Yeah, they are Scarf. Okay. Not the end of the world. I'm a Baxcalibur, so I just live this because I'm different. I would have loved to miss the King Gambit there. That would have been so awesome. King Gambit's pretty bulky, though. Plus six Ice Shard is probably not a two-hit KO. But notably, they're not Assault Vest. So they probably don't have, like, steel moves. They kind of have to click, like, a dark move here. And get some recovery. And I think. Honestly, there's no reason not to just go for the blizzard here. And ice shard. Like what what's what's the what's the big deal? Can you sucker punch? That'd be awesome. Nice. Okay. 
So this blizzard might send it in range. Freeze? Heat crash? Okay. They have to be real careful here. <laughs> they gotta start playing real careful. Snow stopped and no longer have recovery, but I do have Ogre Pond. Which means this turn, I can go for the Spiky Shield and a Protect on what I assume to be a Breaking Swipe. Heat Crash. Probably a Katow as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can 100% get rid of this King Gambit if it doesn't protect here. And I kind of just have to hope it doesn't protect, because if it does... Eh, you know? Eh. <laughs> they burning Bulwark? That's why I can't attack into that slot yet. But if I get this KO, I have a free KO into that slot next turn. Oh yeah, they screwed up. Nice. There's the Lando. I just follow me Ice Shard. There's no way you live this. I have to follow me and attack into the Landorus this turn. Um, actually, I technically double protect here. Technically, I double protect here to see who protects, and then next turn I get to attack. This also scouts for a Sansir Storm. Because if they go for an Earth Power, that means they probably don't have Sansir Storm, and that means I can attack whatever. Heat Crash. They're not breaking swiping. Earth Power. Yeah, why not? Let's just, let's just follow me. I, I kind of just believe that Max Caliber can eat this Breaking Swipe. Because it's not that strong. So follow me, Ice Shard. They do protect, that's fine. He crash shouldn't KO me. And we just run back that turn. Follow me. There's no way you live the plus six eye shard. Even if you Terra, you have to be like Terra Steel. Did they Terra yet? I'm trying to think. I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't even remember, dude. This match has been this match has just been so in my favor since turn one that I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe they didn't speed boost. There's the Breaking Swipe. They had to do that a while back. And clear amulet revealed. Yay! Go ahead and click try attack. And I'll protect. Porygon Z showcase. Come on. You know, you, you, got, you gotta showcase the Porygon Z. I said you gotta showcase the Porygon Z. Come on. Try attack. Protect. If this try attack doesn't do 50%, I'm gonna be really, really surprised. Alright, and I definitely live the heat crash because of how bulky I am. So we should be fine, even if this doesn't KO. Nice. Huh. I did not expect to go undefeated, even on low ladder with this team. I really did not expect to go undefeated with this team. Well. 
Guess I have to give the rental code out. <laughs> okay. Give me a second here. I'll drop the rental code. Okay, here's the team. Uh, I mean, like, it's it's pretty meme -y. You know, I was only comfortable using it because I didn't really care about points. But uh, as it turns out, it functions pretty well. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Sorry if this one wasn't that edited or even edited at all. Um, I just had to get this one out. Um, otherwise, I would not have a video today. But yeah, have a nice one, guys. See ya.